So, while I was just chilling out, I was deciding that I was going to use a little of my animation prowess, at least in the pixel art style, which I've actually been pretty obsessed with. I admit, I, I really kind of like the retrocade look. So I built this little website, and it's, well, it takes a password to get in here, so you're not going to be able to access this um, at all. It's all pretty much locked down, not published yet. So we have the warning, which is, I did that on purpose. So, first things first, you will have to choose one of two fate paths to continue the RPG. Pass both, and you might get an extra option. Do note that this choice will greatly affect the type of game you're playing. So then, on to the decision making. Who will you choose? Shatten. A. A police officer, Drago Fox, with a few kinks in his chain. Or the anthropomorphic citizen. B. Who's always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, right now, I only did the officer. So this is just like a gallery of my arts. And it's very short. So call this a preview, if you will. For an actual game I'm building up. And this will be an actual game at some point. Okay. This is your officer's dashboard. On one side, you will see the graphic, and on the other side, you will see your options. The operator is not available, so do as you will. Some parts be, may be presets, like a city symbolism. You work with what's already there. Do note that images can teeter into graphicness, but be mindful all sprites are original, as are most the assets in the predisposed scenery. Options, right, are how you make your moves. The right is also how you use your trinkets, which will only be available to you when it might count. So be mindful of it. You're working overtime. Or is it overtime? Hmm, officer. You seem to enjoy your job. Is it too much, though, I wonder? You have quite a bit of layway and perks on your side, along with trinkets and other items to use, or not use, in various situations. These may or may not have simple minigames to fit the limitations of the site's board. Your job is to learn all you can on anyone and everyone to resolve crimes or escalate a situation, in order to either be lawful or not lawful. Once you have your information profile, you decide the fate of the Anthro citizens, but keep in mind that if your boss catches you, you will have to either negotiate with him or go to jail yourself, for a short time, mind you. This is not your standard, typical police story. To continue, click continue. The upper section is your tools. You have a variety of tools that will show up in the appropriate areas of which you may find use for them. The Citizen's Book is always available. Keep in mind, though, that any time you use the book, you will end up back at the station and have to start your patrol over again. Should you not have enough collective data to open a file, each citizen will have at least two parts of a passcode. Most people will not argue with a dragon, but some will. While others have secrets they don't want you to know, officer, these ones are extra sly and may have another who knows who they are in the shadows and you may have to get the rest of the code to open the file from them. Click the book to continue. This is actually based on my robot. This is your civilian book, one of your most important tools. When you believe you have all the needed data on a character by visual memory, click the diamond icon widget beside the corresponding image. If you are correct, you should be able to access a file based on that character. When you are ready to move on from the book, just click outside it to return to your station. The station will be much like a limbo effect, but trust me, you are not in a limbo story-wise. This is in part to the limitations of the site's capacity. All beliefs of the City of Wolves have this book. It is updated time and time again, with each officer guarding a different sector resulting in different profiles provided. Should you meet a civilian not in your book, just know where interacting with them is not forbidden. They are not from your jurisdiction of guard. 
This could warrant more or less investigation on said individual anthropomorphic civilian. And the right thing to do is report them. But will you, officer? You will have a suspicion meter when you leave. The closer to red it is, the less room for error there is. That's all your different characters. There's your suspicion meter. It's the little scorpion. So your available tools in the station is literally just your boy. So let's have a snack. So this is your character, and this is just so you can kind of see him. And yes, I animated him myself. I still enjoy doing animation. Fortunately, it's a little bit. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to continue. So this is your second in command. He is your partner. He is a mix between a lion and a phoenix. Lionheart doesn't suspect a thing. He speaks to you, his eyes sharp and predatory. You've been informed earlier that you will be working with him by the other workers. A lion with an attitude he is described as. I am your second in command. I heard you're new. Don't worry, you'll fare fine here. I will help you, as well as supervise you on your first day. I'm just a call away on your scanner upon pincering the criminals on the fairway. Just keep an open contact with me, okay? There's your suspicion meter in a medium. So this is like a tutorial to let you know kind of what this means. Orc seems a bit skeptical about you. He speaks to you, his tone a mix of stern and judging. He is a higher-up officer, just below your boss's rank. You're told he's not scared of anyone, and specializes in undersea escapees, given that he's an orca. The boss appears to see promise in you. He might look small, but he's highly trained, so do not underestimate the boss. And oh yes, do not think that I won't be watching how you do on your first day. Lionheart can be a little sadistic, touch and go. But he's always the one to jump in first, and is one of the faster-acting officers. You would do well to cooperate and sync with him. But I've seen good cops go bad, so stay out of trouble. I know the power of authority is nice and all, but uh, never mind. Maybe I'm just being too critical. Kojak appears reserving and mildly worried. See, there's your suspicion meter at its highest before you end up in jail. He looks at you with a piercing gaze. Kojak, albeit he is a Doberman, much weaker in strength than you, a dragon. Something about him resonates authority. He does not back down from your size. Quickly, it is obvious that he is your boss. He looks around when you call him, briefly and analytically, at the other officers. Your colleagues, then he speaks, a slight concern behind his tone. Your co-workers seem concerned that I've given you this chance. I'm a firm believer, however, and it takes one to know one. I think you would be an excellent choice to catch some of the more slippery ones. Even an old dog like me can learn some new tricks. I will be observing you closely on your first day, and we will see how you and the others get along. Do note, if there is any issues, I may reassign your partnership. It is crucial that you work together as well as solo on this team. It's a large city with a small team, so keep your eyes open. Now get out there and show me what I hired into the team for this pressing matter. And also, don't get too cocky. Show them why I gave you this chance, kiddo. A lot's at stake on my end here. So this is the standard beginning of it. And I actually did this a few years ago, but I didn't really get to working on it. And now I'm working on it. So hopefully this will work out. This is just an example right now of various designs that I've done and a little bit of a gallery and a demo. So this will be full-fledged soon. So take care for now.